Hey, what's up guys? If you happen to miss my past video on the five ways to get prepared for door knocking and how I dialed in the exact newsletter that I use on a daily basis to crush it at the doors, you're in luck because I am about to overhaul that newsletter. And a lot of you out there who saw that video, you know it's filled with great tips that you got to check out if you haven't already. But you know what? I am dedicated to delivering full value always in all ways to the neighborhoods and farms that I work. So it was only time for me to take that newsletter and overhaul it with this super cool idea that you know honestly I'm surprised no one's thought of I'm surprised no other agents are taking advantage of it seems pretty obvious to me but it's gonna add tremendous value to you at the doors and value to your newsletter that you're leaving behind plus you're gonna stand out amongst the rest no doubt about it so without further ado let's jump right into that idea keep it dialed in here What's up, what's up? It's Eric Haas now at EXP Realty in sunny Southern California. Welcome to my channel. If you happen to be joining me for the first time, super stoked to have you with me here today. If you haven't already, I gotta have you liking, commenting, and smashing that subscription button because that is the only way that YouTube knows that you're liking me and keeps me motivated to keep delivering this kind of information to you and content to you so you're up to speed on how this pandemic is not only impacting our local lives and housing markets, but tips, tricks, and strategies that you can be implementing as a buyer seller investor and a real estate agent to be successful no matter what market we're experiencing so now after having over 15 years of experience pounding the pavement I've pretty much seen every single door knocking piece you can imagine from different sizes and shapes to the flimsy cheap black and whites to the high-end color completely decked out with professional photos to you know even your suspicious recipe and then of course you've got your agents who are just all about glorifying themselves with their just listeds and just solds to be honest for me though I really don't get overwhelmed with fonts colors logos and headshots because as you know this is all about the client that you're looking to serve so my newsletter is completely focused on the content that is being delivered and the value I'm providing to the neighborhoods that I'm serving. It's pretty safe to say when you're out hitting the doors that not all homes are the same, nor are they going to be excellent examples of what the medium price represents either. Some homes are obviously bigger. You've obviously got homes that are smaller. Some homes look as if they're gonna fall down and you have no idea how they're still standing up. And then you've got a ton of brand new homes that are being built in a lot of neighborhoods as well. But let's go back to one of the top requirements for most buyers. Aside from the bedrooms and bathroom counts and the size of the home, whether it's new or old, the number one thing a lot of the time is location, location, location. Now you're probably thinking, Eric, my farm has a great location. There's a ton of buyer demand, and I'm sure that's all true. But when you're door knocking, your preparation again is absolutely critical and everything. And this is why, my friends, some of the neighborhoods that you're gonna be out there door knocking in are gonna have what's called sub neighborhoods within them. Now you're probably scratching your head going, what the heck is a sub neighborhood now? If you're in Los Angeles like I am on the west side, the neighborhoods like Brentwood, Santa Monica, Venice, and Mar Vista are actually broken down into sub smaller neighborhoods within them. And those little neighborhoods actually offer a completely unique lifestyle sometimes into their own, as well as pretty dramatic home value differences as well. Now within Mar Vista, we have Westdale Truesdale, we have Mar Vista Hill, we have Mar Vista Knoll, we have Mar Vista Flats, and we have South Mar Vista. Now, if you don't happen to be dialed in on what all those sub neighborhoods are doing, you're gonna have a hard time being the expert and the go-to person when people are asking you, hey, what's going on in West El Truesdale? Or hey, what's going on in Mar Vista Hill? And you're scratching your head going, Mar Vista Hill, West El Truesdale, but you know, I, I thought this was all Mar Vista. Well, it's not. And that's again, why you gotta make sure that you can put all the pieces together when you're asked a question and provide a transparent answer no matter what you're being asked. That's when I realized that my market newsletter for Mar Vista was really only painting a picture of Mar Vista as a whole and completely missing out on the opportunity to dial in what was happening in these sub neighborhood markets, which I was finding myself door knocking in on a daily basis. Now, when you check out my updated overhauled newsletter, which I'm more than happy to share with you, it provides homeowners and sellers with what's going on in their particular sub neighborhood with stats and trends. But here's the other thing, my friends, I had to make sure that I had that general overview of what was going on in Marvis at the same time so people could make sure that they could understand what was going on in the neighborhood as a whole and what was happening in particular in their sub neighborhood as well. So I still dialed in with respects to 
the sub neighborhood update and the general overview update of Mar Vista, the number of solds, the average days on market, the median price, average price per square foot, number of homes that sold over asking, under asking, at asking, the sales volume and the percentage difference in the sold price versus the original asking price. Because again, this is an overview versus a sub neighborhood market. So this is really important to see how those things correlate and see if your part of the neighborhood is actually doing better than the rest as well. Now I hope you found value and drop any questions or comments below as I'm more than happy to help out any way I can. And again, if you are interested to get a copy of how this new overhauled newsletter looks so you can make any adjustments you want and make it your own, please don't hesitate to drop the comment below because again, I'm here to help. I'm here to provide value and that's what it's all about. Have a great one.